climate change is a crisis and it is a global crisis because we need a consensus among all the countries around the world if we have to really control climate change. So we do collaborate with a lot of scientists across the world and I would give you some examples of how climate change has been impacting, negatively impacting lives and livelihoods of smallholder farmers around the world. If you look at the last three years, there is clear evidence that climate change is happening around the world. So if you look at Asia, just two months ago, one third of Pakistan was flooded. That is because they have an extreme monsoon, which resulted in lots of rainfall in a very short period of time. Therefore, the whole country was flooded. Two years ago, 2020, one third of Bangladesh was flooded for the same reason. And these had significant negative impacts on the crops because crops are at the maturing stage. And when you have this rainfall event, the whole crop is gone. And then if you move on to Indo-Gangetic Plains in India, this summer, they experienced the hottest summer ever when wheat crop was maturing. It resulted in loss of more than 50% of yield reduction in their wheat crop. We all know Germany this year had extreme drought stress events and entire Europe experiences also experienced extreme high temperatures. And I was told that in UK, they had temperatures close to 40 degrees Celsius, which is never heard of. And then now let's look into what happened in the US. Western parts of the United States were impacted by drought. We're calling it mega drought season. And then last year, the temperatures rose up to 48 and 50 degrees Celsius in Western US and also some parts of Canada. That is also never heard of. So these extreme dry and hot events resulted in wildfires, which devastated the crops and also species diversity in that region. Uh, climate change is very important under the current circumstances. As I mentioned, I am in the College of Agriculture. We are in the business of food production. Climate change impacts the productivity of our grain crops. For example, wheat, sorghum, or rice, and also our vegetables and tree crops as well, like tomatoes, and also the fruits which we eat. Mainly, climate change impacts the productivity of these crops. When I say productivity, I'm talking about yield. Yield of these crops are going to be decreasing under climate change scenarios, because one of the things which happens under climate change is increases in the temperature, air temperature, and also occurrence of extreme drought events. Both of these high temperature stress and drought events impact the productivity of our crops, and uh, mostly negatively. Under climate change, what we have seen is increases in carbon dioxide concentrations. If you look at what happened in the last century, at the beginning uh, in 1960s, our carbon dioxide concentrations were around 280 parts per million. But right now, in 2022, the carbon dioxide concentrations have increased to close to 420 ppm. What's a significant increase? And these, these greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and hexafluorides, they are called greenhouse gases because they have the tendency to absorb or trap heat. That's why they're called as greenhouse gases. So because of this, what we have seen is that there has been a global surface temperature increase compared to the beginning of last century to what we are seeing now. Approximately, there has been an increase in 1.2 degrees Celsius, and which is negatively impacting our, our crop production. So that's what we are seeing it. And there's another component to climate change, which is drought stress or occurrence of extreme events. Uh, which also impacts the productivity of the crops. So in, in Kansas, for example, we produce uh, wheat in the winter and then we produce sorghum or soybean in the summer. Both of these crops are negatively impacted because of occurrence of high temperature and drought stress during the crop production period.